Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create these opening hooks with animated text by letter and the morph transition using the words option. So let's jump straight into it. As usual, we'll start with a blank presentation. We can create that by going to File, New, Blank Presentation and then choosing Layout Blank. Let's quickly set up our background and add our first text page. To do that, we'll right click Format Background, Solid Fill and choose whichever color you want. For the first questions, I'm going to set this up with dark text on a light background. So I'm going to select 95% transparency and then add my text. Generally, when you want these high impact text slides, you want to have a good contrast between the background and the text. So I'll type in my text. For this example, I'm just going to use a generic question and opening your presentation with a question like this can really hook your audience in. I'm going to change the font to fig tree, set it to 54 point, adjust the wrapping, select these words and make them bold, and then this key figure and make it the highlight color we're going to use. And also control B will make this bold. For this black text, I'm going to use a slightly softer black, which is this third one up lighter by 25% and also set the question mark to the same lighter by 25%. Now we can align this to the middle, align, center, arrange, align, middle. There's our first text slide. Now let's quickly add the animation to get it to write out in a really nice way. We'll go to animations, we'll choose appear, but the key is to go into the animation pane, double click on this and choose animate text by letter. The default will be very, very slow. So I would recommend something like 0.03 for a nice snappy appearance. That looks good to me. Now let's create the second slide and use the morph transition with words to get this great effect. So we'll go to thumbnails, control D on our slide. We don't need the animation to write out on the second slide. So in the animation pane, I can click on that and press delete. I'm going to change my text to whatever we want it to be. Then go to Transitions, Morph. I'm going to set it up to be a duration of one second. And if we run that from the beginning, you'll see that it writes out, then fades off and fades the other one on. But we don't want that. So the only change we need to make is go to Effect Options and choose Words. You can use that option for some powerful text transitions. So now when we run from the beginning, it will write out this question and it will change in a nice smooth way to the second option. Now that's done, it's very easy to create the other slide. So I can control D to duplicate, change this to whatever I want and control D to duplicate again. And now that's asked a powerful question. Who thinks they can reduce their spend in this department by 10%? What about 5%, 3% or even 1%? A powerful opening hook. Now we'll quickly add what that could mean. So we'll go to slide one and duplicate that and drag that to the end. And for this, I go to format background and I'm going to set the transparency on this to 0%. On this one, I'm going to make the text fully black and then highlight certain bits in white. So I'll type out my answer. To quickly get to a Euro symbol, we can use control and alt on the keyboard and press the number four at the same time. I can highlight the areas I want bold, which is this. And I also want this white and this 1% reduction. Again, white and bold. And then drag this out so it wraps in the right place. Arrange, align, center. Arrange, align, middle. And it already has the animation on to write out. The only thing I'd want to change on this one is to make it start after previous. So when you run the slide, it comes up straight away. Now we can do almost the same as we did at the beginning for the final part. Control D to duplicate the slide. Click on the animation and press delete because we don't need the right out animation on the second. Change our figures to whatever we want. And then go to transitions, morph. Make sure that we select the words option and set the time we want. I want this to be just one second duration. So I'll quickly run that to check that it works. Nice. Now let's add the final one. Control D to duplicate that slide. Really easy. Just type in our new figures. 
expand this so it doesn't wrap in that place. So let's run that. And then if we want, we can put a final question at the end. And for that, I've just written this example, which I'm going to make bold and white. Make sure it's aligned to the center. And that will just fade off in that place and fade on. So a really powerful opening hook using transitions with words. And you can use transitions with the word options for loads of really powerful text messaging. And there's some really good key points in here, like how to reveal by letter and how powerful that could be and making things bold and different colors and by using the same highlight colors to use in the backgrounds and key text and using transparency. If there are any videos you'd like me to make or any things in PowerPoint that you'd like me to have a look at, please leave a comment below. And if you'd like to download any of the source files from any of these tutorials, there's a link to my Patreon as well. If you want to become a PowerPoint expert and make stunning slides, watch the next video. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.